Hey John, I need to talk to you for a minute about some documentation we need for an application we're releasing in a couple of weeks. Sure, how big is the application, and who's it for? It's not that big. It has about 80 screens. It's a financial processing application designed for accountants to do back and transactions with compound interest and short sale transfers through international accounts. Can you give me access to a development environment so I can explore it? Sorry, but the only people who can access it are the developers and quality assurance team. But I'll ask Jim, the lead engineer, if you can sit by him and watch over his shoulder to see everything you need. I'll probably need to sit next to him for four weeks straight to learn the application. Engineers usually don't like that, and I will probably go insane. I'll also need to take screenshots and explore the application on my own with dummy data. Jim will get you whatever you need. Just set up a meeting with him. Also, we would like the manual to be somewhat short, because our users don't read much. I can't make promises about the length until I see the application. Is there a help button in the application yet? No, we're planning to put the manual on a SharePoint site where people can access it if they want to. That way it's out of the way. Interesting strategy. I don't think people will ever find the help there. Is there any help text on the screens of the application? No, but there's some sentences and paragraphs scattered about. I'd like to take a look at that too. On-screen text is often more important than anything I write in a separate guide. The application goes into hardening early next week. And then release the week after, so pretty much everything is locked down. I see. Given the time frame, could we put the help on another server that we can update continuously as we hear user feedback and more information? The help needs to be included on the same server as the application, because putting it on another server is out of scope of the project. Unless you have money to buy a server and support for it, it will be with the other application code. That means you'll need the help when Quality Assurance moves the app into hardening, right? Yes, is that a problem? I figure if you start now, you'll be able to finish it in one week. Am I supposed to put all my other projects on hold, drop everything and work 16-hour days on your project to finish this in time? If you can't complete your work on time, we will have to wait and release help on the next release window in three months. That would be unfortunate. The initial rollout is when users need help the most. In three months, most people will have either figured it out or given up. Is the rollout just to US users, or is the application international in scope? Yes, international. It will be released to English, Spanish, Russian, and French users. The strings in the interface have already been submitted to our translation group. We had to submit them months ago. You thought of translating the interface months ago but not the help? To be honest, most people don't read help anyway, and the application wasn't frozen for you to enter the project yet. If most people don't read help, what are you coming to me for? Maybe your application is so intuitive, users won't need any help? That's probably the case. We have great designers, and from everything I can see, this application is completely intuitive. But you are probably the one who designed the application, and how it functions, right? Have you done any testing with users to confirm that it will be intuitive for them? No, but I've been around long enough to know. If you don't mind my asking, why are we creating a printed manual in the first place? There are other more effective visual forms of help, such as screencasts, quick reference guides, diagrams, and illustrations. Maybe we should interview a few users to find out what kind of help material they prefer. We already met with some users early on and gathered all the requirements. Did you ask them about help and training? Not that I remember, but a manual should be fine. I also need you to proofread the announcement message that I'm sending out to users tomorrow. I'm going to be sending a campaign of messages. I need you to make sure my sentences are grammatically correct. I can certainly do that, but grammar isn't as important as clarity and meaning in message. Don't you want me to consider those aspects too? Only if you have time. I did already use word spell check. Once we release, we were anticipating some extra support calls in the beginning, so I would also like you to make a support version of your manual with more technical notes that support agents can follow on the phone with users. Multiple versions of a manual isn't a problem. But why wouldn't we include this information in the regular help content that users can see? Because I don't want to make the manual look complicated. We have a motto to keep everything simple. If users see long, complicated steps in a guide, it will suggest that the application is complicated. Making steps clear and easy to understand is part of my job. This is where illustrations and screenshots will be key. 
By the way, if I find some of these steps to be overly complicated, who should I give my feedback to about simplifying the workflow? Should I log a bug in our tracking system about it? If you have any feedback you want to share, come to me about it. I'll probably have to schedule it for a future version. What about simple text changes in the interface? Who do you want me to communicate my feedback about the interface language to? Everything looks good in the application already, but I admit that we do have a few training issues. Are there a key meetings that I need to start attending so that I can get a better understanding of the application? Funny you should ask. We just held a meeting with a group of users last week. But you could go to the developer's scrum, I guess. It looks like I missed out. It would have been great to attend a meeting where I could actually meet the users. That kind of user information and interaction helps me understand my audience better. Do you mind if I call a few users? We want to restrict access to the users to just one person, me. We don't want a million different people contacting them and giving them all kinds of mixed direction and signals. I only wanted to ask the users what kind of tasks they plan to do with the application and the terms they use to describe these tasks. You can ask me all the questions you would normally ask the users. Are you an accountant? No. Do you process short sale transactions with international accounts? No. I'm sure you'll be a valuable source of information. What project should I bill my time to? Ping me and I'll email you the codes. I also want you to track the progress of your deliverables through an Excel template that I created. It has bars to represent chunks of time delineated by regular milestones. I already divided up a few milestones for you, based on the content process. Each day you will complete 15% of the help. 5% will be writing, 5% editing, and 5% reviewing. You will have 40 hours to write the help overall. Do you think you will need more time? The writing process is not linear and usually depends on a number of supporting factors, such as access to the application and cooperation of subject matter experts. I doubt your Excel template has any bearing on reality and will only increase the time I spend on this project doing busy work. Also, if we create any video tutorials, it will greatly expand this time frame you've allotted. Don't worry about the video tutorials. We contracted with a third-party company last month to create three video tutorials. I think they're going to be great. Users will love them. Oh, did you know I actually create video tutorials too? Even though my title is technical writer, I create a lot of content outside of writing, such as videos and illustrations and short one-page layouts. I'll keep that in mind. Speaking of writing, I have a silly request. I know you may think it's trivial, but I'd like you to teach me grammar. Just little things here and there. If you want to learn grammar, there are lots of resources online and books I can recommend. You want me to come over to your cube every time you're writing something and answer little questions about sentence construction and spelling? That would be really helpful. I can also add you to my frequent contacts on my instant messenger. Just curious, but if you feel insecure with your writing skills, why are you writing the product announcements for the users? I do what I can. I actually wrote the manual for another one of my projects. So you're a project manager slash writer? What a tremendous asset. Maybe I could be your writing coach. In exchange, you could log my time in your Excel template each day. By the way, if you don't mind, can you try to bill as much time as possible to other projects or categories? Budget for the project is running short. You want me to work on help for your project and then falsely bill it to other resources? Was help even in the project plan? We strive to account for all variables, risks, and needs as we plan projects. Who will review the content I write once I'm finished? Should I give it to you? You could, but I probably won't be able to read more than five pages because I'm so busy. Why don't you give it to Sam? Who's Sam? He's a new developer we just brought into the project. This will be a good chance for him to get to know the application better. Sam is only allocated 20% on this project because he's still working on several other projects right now and his time is extremely short. Sounds great. I'll return to my cube and make a few posts on Twitter. Then I'll probably ignore your project entirely. That's probably the best approach. Thanks for your help. It's great having the assets of a technical writer on board our team.